What you're about to listen to was originally broadcast on 98.5 Sunshine FM, Perth, Western Australia. For more details, go to the website sunshinefm.ws. On 98.5 Sunshine FM at 29 to 9, the Perth Wildcats suffered a four-point loss at the weekend against the Gold Coast Blaze. Captain Sean Redditch joins me now. And Sean, some tensions at the end of the game with some uh, pushing and shoving. Did that surprise you? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, I don't think that's happened uh, in my uh, five years playing with the Wildcats but like that. So, I mean, it was. I think it's a bit of uh, frustration and and uh, not liking the uh, celebration on our our own home court. So uh, you know, it's it's a competitive sport, and although you wouldn't like to to see that happen, it's um it's something that hopefully we learn from, and, and we'll make that same mistake again. Sean, you guys beat the Blaze earlier this year. What's changed that's allowed them to win two in a row? Uh, I mean, it's, basketball's a game of momentum. So I mean, they we played a, a great first half against them and up at their place and, and couldn't finish the deal and I think they came in, in with a lot of confidence and uh, you know they, they, they made the, the shots to, to win it I think it was just a, a case we just weren't hitting our shots especially uh, in the third and fourth quarter of, of the last game so it's um, it's something that uh, you know we got to go back to the drawing board a little bit and figure out what we can fix but I mean I, I still think that we got, we got um, a great team and a great group of guys and I think we're going to be better for it in the, in the end of the season. It was your first loss at home this season, and it also happened to coincide with the fact it was my very first time at a, a Perth Wildcats game, and uh, you guys lost. So my apologies for being there and, and uh, you guys losing by four points. Uh, well, look, what, what positives can you take out of a game like this, Sean? Um, I mean, we, there, there's some good performances. I mean, Kevin Lish, Lish played well, and uh, Martin Catalini came off the bench, and Jesse waxed after the a good job, but uh, I think from our point of view, it just it just continues to uh, you know make the point that we want to try and get better each and every time we step on the floor, and maybe go back and correct some things that uh, you know we haven't been doing well the past couple of weeks, and and hopefully that'll uh, hold us in good stead the uh, the next couple of weeks because we got a, a pretty tough run coming up to Christmas, so it's going to be uh, a tough challenge for us. But I think something that uh, you know we're, we're looking forward to and. You know, the best thing about basketball is you get a, another chance to redeem yourself and we get this chance uh, Saturday night against Townsville to, um, you know, get that uh, bad taste out of our mouth from last week. And speaking of Townsville, you're up against them this Saturday night. They had a good win over Adelaide on the weekend and they, they, they played last night. They beat Cairns. Who would you say has got the upper hand heading into this match? Well, I think we I mean, we got the best home court advantage in the, in the competition. So I think... Uh, Knowing that fact, and I think we're going to come out pretty hungry and pretty fired up to uh, get a win. We uh, were pretty frustrated with the the way we played, especially the last uh, six quarters. So it's going to be. Um, I think you're going to have everyone focused and ready to go. And uh, Townsville's coming off some a couple of good wins, but you know I think they know that it's going to be a tough place to play here, and, and hopefully we can uh, ride that momentum with our fans and and everything and, and try and get a, a good win to put us a, you know, in a good position because we, we got a tough road trip against New Zealand and Wollongong the following week so on uh, two games in three days so it's going to be a tough task for us then. Mm, there's actually not much uh, separating the teams at the top of the NBL ladder at the moment. Uh, have you guys given much thought to the playoffs at this stage? No, I mean the, the playoffs are still pretty, pretty far away and uh, right now we're just trying to get better and make sure that we... Uh, we, we take care of the things that uh, we know we can control, and those are our efforts and our concentration and our focus. So it's um, it's going to be a, a grind for the next probably eight weeks, and uh, it's probably going to determine you know who's going to be in the playoffs and who's not. So we know this is an important stretch for us, and especially this coming up to Christmas. Want to go into the Christmas break with uh, on a high and in a good winning streak. So it's uh, it's an important time for us. Mm -hmm. Now, look, you guys have a couple of days off, as you said, uh, over the Christmas break. Do the, the dietitians at the, the club remind the players at this time of the year what they should be and what they shouldn't be eating? Oh, I think we have uh, we got some pretty dedicated uh, players, but I, I must admit the, uh, my wife has uh, been cooking a lot of cookies lately, so um, <laughs> I, I uh, dip my hand into the cookie jar every once in a while. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, look, let me ask you another que a question without warning. If you weren't a professional athlete, what Christmas fare would you be eating more of? Um, I, lo I love uh, sugar cookies with uh, 
with icing on them. Those are my, my favorite. So my mom used to make those uh, quite a bit. So I, uh, you know, I try to stay away from them as much as I can. But, uh, you know, it's, it is the Christmas spirit, so you want to get into the uh, holiday season at times. Yeah, you don't want to be a party pooper, do you? No, definitely not. <laughs> OK. Well, look, here's, here's to a win this coming Saturday night against the Townsville Crocs, and we look forward to catching up with you again this time next week on The Breakfast Show. All right, thanks. Looking forward to it. For more details on this and other programs, contact 98.5 Sunshine FM, Perth, Western Australia, via the website sunshinefm.ws. All material is subject to copyright.